We take the view that the Minister for Finance was profusely wrong in stating publicly that the 2017 and earlier 2016 bond were the same, and therefore in substance is not required further parliamentary scrutiny. Uh, one of it, I've already highlighted premium. You know what the premium means? When there is an early call, there would be a cost to the people of Ghana. Additionally, it is useful to ask if the premium, the additional punitive payment, was demanded by any particular investor at the point of the offer or even before the bidding process started. In essence, we submit that the finance minister was not truthful and transparent when he appeared before the August House. Why is Honorable Ken Ofuriata hiding so much from the people's representative? And for that matter, the people of Ghana. You know, he said it was something sensitive. You remember the word he used? Which, which we say is public sensitive for him to come with the full particulars of this uh, transaction in the public interest. Furthermore, may we stress that unlike previous domestic and foreign sovereign bonds, the 2017 bond issuance had callable, obliga callable, callable obligations in the payment clauses. It therefore makes it, uh, let me take that, it had callable obligations, the 2017 bond. It therefore makes it possible to take advantage of market conditions at a time of redemption, especially if these market conditions became favorable. This is now possible since under the escrow and buyback initiative, the NDC government was able to redeem over $360 million sovereign bond. It is in this context that we call on the Minister of Finance to publish and further submit the pricing supplement for the issuance of the 2017 domestic bond to the House. After eventually the premium being demanded upon call or early redemption of the bond will be paid by all Ghanaians. Therefore, we make that demand of him. Disclosure of participants in the bidding process. In the bidding process, we also requested for information in respect of that. We should turn to the issue. The minister was required to furnish the house with the participants of this controversial bond. The minister declined to heed this simple and harmless call with a rather uh, unacceptable response. He said it was market sensitive. So we say to him, it's public sensitive in the public interest for him to make disclosures of the participants in that particular bidding process. We ask the minister, uh, probably his only stranger in Jerusalem, we should let him know that his unique bond is being widely discussed by capital market analysts that have followed Ghana since we returned to the markets in a big way in 2013 with both sovereign bonds.